Welcome guys. I just done a new build using the beta flight F4 flight controller and uh, I just want to share with you some things that good to know about this FC. It's a really good flying and performing flight controller but uh, there are some things that good to know. First uh, use 14 gauge uh, wire for the main power because uh, I used here is 12 gauge and it is a little bit too thick for this board but I don't have any 14 gauge left so it will work the second thing uh, don't use the built-in 5 volt power supply for the FPV camera because uh, it's not really reliable I had a really bad picture so I installed a 5 volt regulator here and uh, powered using this to power the camera and now the picture is perfectly clean next thing uh, if you are using FR Sky and uh, you want telemetry uh, you have to do the inversion mode on the on your receiver otherwise it won't work at least mine didn't work even if I set up the serial ports like the FPV model said so it, but after then I done the mode on my FR Sky receiver the telemetry works perfect so that's one thing and uh, smart audio works on this board uh, on the UART1 if you are using uh, ESC telemetry that's uh, also UART1 but uh, here I don't use ESC telemetry so that's okay to solder the smart audio cable on the UART1 and the uh, telemetry is soldered to the TX3 pin on the UR3 port and uh, next I will show you the beta flight settings okay let's plug this in uh, first guys I recommend you to update the newest beta flight firmware uh, now it is 3.2.3 .3, I think it flies awesome okay I don't use accelerometer because I don't need okay UART6 was already set up to serial Rx mm, this is the uh, SBUS for your control UR3 is smart port I really like telemetry a lot of guys don't uh, use it but I think it's useful and UR1 is set up to smart audio here and really that's it if you are done the telemetry inversion hack on your receiver there are a lot of videos how to do it Next I use multi-shot and I really recommend the set the minimum throttle value it will make a difference I use 8k and 4k frequency because I don't need 8k 8k I don't feel the difference uh, it's set to SBUS serial based receiver that was the default here you can set some things for your flight controller flight controller first telemetry i really like it so i turned off i recommend turn air mode on because it's really useful for the flight experience osd anti-gravity and dynamic filter is really recommended the other things just leave it there uh, 
Now the next power and battery, uh, you should set here the onboard ADC for voltage and current source, otherwise they won't work. My, uh, my amperage meter wasn't really accurate and uh, they recommend these values and now it's, it's pretty good. The voltage meter was spot on out of the box. PID tuning, uh, it, these are almost the factory values, I just tweaked it a little bit. And these are my rates, you can try it, I really like that. Receiver tab, I just set it up the TEAR because I use the Taranis and this is the Taranis uh, default. And uh, the stick low threshold, uh, I really recommend to set it up because uh, the factory value I think is 100 and I just set it at 20 because there are a lot of dead band otherwise. Modes, you can set up the arm and, and the other things but I don't use many just arm and the beeper. Beeper is really useful because you can find your copter in the long grass. Motor stub you can calib calibrate your ESCs here. OSD uh, I recommend to set your uh, camera video format PAL or NTSC because the auto setting is not really reliable. And these are just really personal preference. I only use these two milliampere ground and main battery voltage. And really that's it. That's the main setup you should do with the Betaflight F4. I hope you guys find it useful and have a nice flight time.